Securing fifth place in the sprint and fourth place at the end of the long race indicate a smiling Marquez who is determined to compete at the top. It is a Marquez with his feet firmly planted, strategizing his next move without hastily taking any chances. But it is also a Marquez aware that he still has some time to hone his skills on a GP23 that he knows he hasn't yet pushed to its limits. Portimao is going to be the true baptism of fire. It's a neutral track with more realistic values and no testing history, unlike Qatar. In the meantime, the Spaniard took some risks in the final race, battling to finish only one place off the podium and pursuing Martin's Ducati, the runner-up in the World Championship. Welcome to Bike GP. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. Additionally, there was the battle against Pedro Acosta, the young sensation from KTM, in which the eight-time world champion prevailed owing to experience, but he later acknowledged Acosta's evident potential. The Spaniard believes that the GP24 has little bearing on the objective, which is still to pursue and learn from the greatest Ducatis, those of Bagnaia and Jorge. The eight-time world champion of Grand Prix racing had a fantastic start in Qatar on the Ducati 2023 model. During the second half of the Grand Prix, Marquez challenged Jorge of Pramac for third place, and at one time he was only four-tenths behind the Spaniard. Marquez, meanwhile, was having trouble with the front tire and could only see himself going down if he tried harder in the last laps. The Grassini rider commented, We studied a lot of things with the team to try to manage the start, and it went better today. Thus, this greatly aided the race. The tires were then easy for me to control. The problem was that while most riders were handling the rear today, I was handling the front more than the back because on the Honda, my old bike, I was having some issues with the front tire every year at this racetrack. Anyway, I still need to work on several aspects of my riding technique because I'm not riding well. But the race was steady and unwavering today. I completed the front tire and started to push harder with the front wheel during my attack, which I executed in the final eight circuits. The final two laps, I gave up because I felt that there was a potential to crash and earn two or three extra points. I preferred to finish fourth and wait for two weeks in Portimao. Although Marquez believes his style of riding is increasingly adjusting to what the Ducati demands, he issued a warning, saying he will start from zero at the second round in Portugal because he entered the Qatar Grand Prix with data from the test conducted at the low sail track. Portimao will be an important weekend because normally in the tests, in Malaysia and here, I take time to arrive in the good lap times, he stated. It really helps me this weekend because we had a test here two weeks ago. Therefore, we shall begin at zero at Portimao. It is there that we must recognize our current location. Aside from that, though, I think my riding is getting better all the time. A wall will eventually appear at that location. Next, in order to locate only a few tenths, you must locate a little hole. But at the moment, it's Banyaya and Jorge who were today faster than me, and I must learn from them. Pedro Acosta passed Marc Marquez, but Marquez regained the lead to finish the Qatar MotoGP on a high note. Acosta, a teenage Premier Class rookie, signaled his intentions by diving thrillingly past the renowned Marquez into fourth place. However, Marquez rode a Ducati to P4 in his maiden Grand Prix when Acosta's tires were worn. Neil Hodgson of TNT Sports emphasized that Marquez will be pleased, very pleased, with the 2024 season's opening round, which will be his first since leaving Honda. Look, where did the Hondas finish? Hodgson asked. Johan Zarco, who was in 12th place, was the top Honda. You're not competing, are you? Mark would therefore naturally be ahead of the current Honda riders if he were riding the Honda. He would, however, be far from the front. Mark had a good weekend, but he still wants to win. I'm relieved he avoided crashing. On Sunday in Qatar, Marquez finished 18 seconds ahead of Zarco, the top-placed Honda. Sylvan Guintoli declared, He'll be really, really happy about that. After all that time at Honda, he is still getting used to the Ducati riding style. In order to make that lap time in the braking zones, he needs to exercise self-control, not push the bike too hard, and take advantage of the Ducati's efficiency when exiting the corner. It's functioning. He doesn't particularly like this track. Even in his most dominant game, he has only ever won once here. He will be exceedingly content with both of his races. He was running at a tremendous pace and was quite close to the podium, so there was a lot to learn. Mark Marquez is someone to watch out for throughout the championship. It's a tough track for him, Michael Laverty continued. He hasn't crashed, made many mistakes, 
and brought it home in fourth and fifth, winning points. He'll be going home happy for sure. As a result of Jorge Martin winning the sprint and the current champion Francesco Bagnaia winning the Grand Prix, the competitors for the title from the previous year are making a strong impression in 2024. Although Marquez still has a way to go before competing for the title, he made significant strides in Qatar. Meanwhile, Acosta of Tech 3 Gas Gas is the most intriguing rookie in the elite class since Marquez in 2013. Following thrilling overtakes on both Marquez brothers, he reverted to a P9 finish. Laverty stated, I once thought, dare to dream, a podium in his first appearance? However, there was a problem with comfort. He was slipping away. On the straights, he began to acclimate. These overtakes were made against experienced MotoGP competitors. He is a great act and means business. He has such mastery over his device. He managed to get it back in line even if it kicked sideways when he wasn't expecting it to. His mistakes were methodical. It was unfortunate that he gave up at the end because he seemed to be at one with his motorcycle. The locker held additional items. Absent the problem of tire wear, you could see the teams and his reaction to it. A fantastic first weekend for the MotoGP. Despite losing out on a podium spot in the Qatar MotoGP by just one position and 1.5 seconds on Sunday, Marc Marquez said he was not upset. Barring a brief overtaking by rookie Pedro Acosta mid-race, the new Grassini Ducati rider remedied his opening lap weakness from Saturday to shadow the leading trio for the majority of the 21 laps. Although Marquez and Miguel Oliveira in particular suffered the consequences of an excessively aggressive style during the Portimao opener last year, Marquez was far more composed on his new Desmosedici equipment as a Repsol Honda rider. Once more, leading the GP23 class, Marquez finished the weekend without an incident, trailing only Francesco Bagnaia, Ducati, Brad Binder, KTM, and Jorge Martin, Ducati, at the finish line. The best satellite rider in both races in Qatar, Marc Marquez said, Of course we tried and we pushed for the podium, but it was not possible. I was slower than they were. Not to worry though, since as I mentioned on Thursday, we are in the 4th, 5th, and 6th positions. Actually, today's 4th is yesterday's 5th in the sprint. The podium was always nearby. It's true though that I still don't feel completely at ease enough to ride how I want. However, let's try to get better for the upcoming races. The former Repsol Honda rider looked at sprint champion Jorge Martin's back wheel for the whole of the Grand Prix. Marquez said, He was a little bit better than me on the exit of the corners. I was having a little more trouble there than I did yesterday. We made a minor adjustment to the bike though, so I was stronger in other places. The group performed a fantastic job. When Marquez was asked about Acosta's impressive display, he complimented the teenager for taking risks and attacking even though he eventually faded to ninth place and destroyed his tires. It was time to take care of the tires today. If someone doesn't take care of the tires and just attacks, they can come, Marquez declared. He was riding really well when he passed me. Although I believe he ruined the tires, he's outstanding for a newbie, but he must persevere and acquire all of these skills. That is what he needs to accomplish. It was enjoyable. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe for new upcoming videos of MotoGP. Thanks for watching.